Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. Now, what is the most effective way of winning points in table tennis? I'm going to show you five contenders, five possible ways in which you can win points. Which is the most effective? Where should you be focusing your energy? I'm going to show you the examples and then we're going to have a discussion. What is the best way of winning points in table tennis? Our first contender is spin. You can win a lot of points by really spinning the ball, generating heavy spin. If you're an attacking player, it might be heavy top spin. If you're a defensive player, it might be heavy backspin. But spin is a really effective way of winning points because your opponent has to be able to react to your spin to control your spin. Here's some footage of top player Craig Bryant using some of his spin shots. And as you can see, there's a variation here. Sometimes it's um, slow and heavy top spin. Other times there's a, there's a little bit of back spin in there. Um, so Craig is using spin in a variety of ways. And the way that he's using spin is helping him to win points. Our next contender is speed. And what I mean by this is taking the ball early, playing quick, fast table tennis. This is very effective. Why? Because when you play quickly, take the ball early, you take time away from your opponent. Um, your opponent feels as though he or she is rushed don't have time to react because you're playing the balls quick, early, fast. You're playing with speed. Again, here's some examples of Craig Bryant taking the ball early, taking time away from his opponent, forcing errors. He's not hitting the ball particularly hard. He's just taking the ball early, rushing his opponent. Very effective way of winning points. Our third contender is ball placement, where you put the ball on the table. If you aim your shots out wide, if you aim your shots deep in the corner or to your opponent's crossover, you're likely to have a lot more success. It's very easy to win points with very good ball placement. Here is some more examples of Craig using ball placement. You can see that he gets the shots into very difficult positions for his opponent. Again, not having to hit the ball all that hard in this exa these examples. He's just placing the ball really well and it's the placement which is causing the damage. Ooh. Our fourth contender is power hitting the ball really hard. Now, when you play with power, it's obviously really difficult for your opponent to get the ball back because the ball's coming at them very fast and they have to react very quickly. They have to play a very good shot to be able to return the ball. So power is kind of a very obvious way of winning the points. If you hit the ball really hard, and if you get it with a good ball placement, you're very likely to win the point. Let's look at Craig again. Here's some examples of Craig using some power. And you can see how hard it is for his opponents to be able to return the ball. So using power wins points. Our final contender is disruption. Now this is where you unexpectedly change the spin or the speed of the rally. Examples might be something like a, a chop block or a, or a fading shot. Okay, now disruptive shots are effective because they break the usual patterns of play. By changing the speed and the spin, you affect your opponent's rhythm and they have to react to that. And if your opponent does not react to the change of the, of the rhythm, 
to the change of the speed and the spin. They often play weak passive shots, make mistakes or give you easy opportunities. Let's have a look at Craig again. Craig is a master at disruptive shots and you can see that when he does something slightly unexpected, how his opponents just kind of freeze slightly. They kind of have to play a jerky shot because they weren't expecting it. So using these disruptive shots can be very effective at confusing your opponent and winning points. So I've shown you five different ways of winning points. Now, which of these is the most effective? What should you be focusing on? There is no right or wrong here. There's no definite one way is better than the other. What I would say is that I think it's helpful that you have two, three, four different ways in which you can win points. A reason why a player like Craig Bryant is so good is because he can do all five. He uses spin, he uses speed, he uses placement, he uses power, he uses disruption. So he has a very varied game and you know he's incredibly difficult to play against because he can completely mix up what he does. And of course, Craig also has the benefit of having a very strong service game. Craig wins plenty of points through his serves. And we've not really talked about this, but of course, your serves are another way in which you can win points. Um, but using some of the things we've already talked about, the way that you can use spin, the way you can use ball placement, the ways you can use a bit of deception, a bit of disguise, doing something a bit unusual. So using serves, another way in which you can win points. So over to you, have a think about your game. What are you good at? What areas could you get better at? Um, I really actually want to hear from you. I'd be really interested in your thoughts. So in the comment section of this video, please let me know. What do you think you're good at? What do you think you could get better at? Which methods do you use to win points? Which methods do you never use to win points? Let me know, I'd be really interested to hear what you do. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that interesting in some way. Um, if you like the video, then please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, or take a look at one of these other videos. I will have more videos coming soon, so I'll see you then. Bye-bye.